Hey folks, Arizona guy here. It is January 22nd, 2023. Another day in the Biden-Harris America. Phoenix, Arizona, it is a very nice 58 degrees. Super, super nice day. The price for a gallon of gas is still $3.29 in Phoenix, Arizona. So I was reading an interesting story this morning, folks. Now, I don't know if it's true or not. I'm not saying it is, but it was in a couple of the major newspapers. But... You know, that doesn't mean it's 100% true or not. But I felt it was interesting. Nancy Pelosi supposedly had an exorcism in her San Francisco home to ward out the evil spirits after her husband Paul got beat up with a guy that had a hammer. And we still don't know the full information on that story because it appeared that Paul Pelosi knew who the guy was and had let him into the house. So we don't know the whole story on the Paul Pelosi hammer story. But I just thought it was interesting that Nancy Pelosi possibly had an exorcism at their home in San Francisco to try to wart off the evil spirits that apparently were in her home. I don't know, folks. Strange things happen in the Pelosi family. It's kind of weird. So anyway, we're just cruising along the streets of Phoenix in the Lincoln Town Car today. And I'm getting, have been getting 18 miles per gallon with this 2003 Lincoln Town Car in the city. And to me, that is amazing. Because, I mean, this is a fairly large car with a V8 engine. So I am very satisfied with the mileage that I get with this car. So anyway, what else is going on out in the world today? I'm waiting for the Republicans, and I hope this will happen soon, to start the impeachment process for Secretary Mayorkas. I think that would be the absolute best thing for everybody since the Biden administration does not intend, it looks like, to secure the southern border. And with Secretary Mayorkas saying that the border, oh, it's secure, it's secure. If it is so secure, then why are we allowing, apparently, around 45 million undocumented migrants into the country since Joe Biden took office? That doesn't give me the feeling of border security. Does it you? So I would like 
the Republicans to begin the impeachment proceedings for Secretary Mayorkas and some of the Mayorkas staff, which apparently just do not care about the safety and security at the southern border. Because that border should be locked down. The only people allowed into this country should be people who intend to come here the legal way. That should be the only way of getting in to the United States of America. Anyone inside the country that are undocumented, people that we don't know are here unlawfully, should require immediate deportation without question. They did not observe the legal way of coming here. So, they should have to go back, come here the legal way. That's my feeling on the situation anyway. And what do you guys think about, so I guess it was yesterday, more classified documents were found at a different Biden residence. So, apparently, there's a large amount of classified documents in Biden's possession. So, I guess the double standard with Biden putting Trump down for having classified documents at Mar-a-Lago, I guess that double standard thing is sort of out the window. Remember how Joe Biden was putting Trump down for having classified documents? Well, I guess the old saying what comes around goes around. Or the other saying that it's just karma, right? So Biden has been caught with more documents. So maybe President Biden, the hypocrite in charge, should begin stopping talking about who's got classified documents. Because, I mean, Joe Biden has been in politics for 50 years. I mean, when Joe Biden first got into the Senate, where he was elected senator from Delaware, Richard Nixon was the president. That is how long this man has been in government. It's pathetic, actually, that somebody is allowed to stay in government for 50 years. It's actually unbelievable. Since the first Congress representatives, the first government representatives, were voluntary. They only met a couple of times a year unless there was some type of an emergency. And this guy's been in office for 50 years. It's crazy. Well, folks, that's what I have for you today. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Go out there. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Do something nice for somebody with less than yourself. And leave a comment. Arizona guy out.